Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The mission of the delegation of Western Armenia in the homeland, treasure of Artsakh, bridge of Jerveshtik, opening of new classroom at Hrant Dink School, the lack of international assessment of the Church of Armenian captives in Baku, is a risk of normalizing the crimes, a right ombudsman. A solar panel competition has been announced in Ahal Kalag. Armenia graves in cars targeted like by Turkish treasure hunters. Excavation have begun in the village of Keltepe in Western Armenia. One of the most famous monasteries in Sunik, Vahanavank is 1,111 years old. Verzor, the future of Artsakh within Azerbaijan. The delegation of Western Armenia continuing its mission in the homeland went from Tiganaker to Van. On the way, we stopped in a historical town of Silvian, where there were also traces of Armenian architecture. It should be noted that there is a false opinion regarding Silvian, according to which this particular Tiganaker was founded by Tigran the Great. However, historical facts tell a different story. The real Tiganaker is today's city of Diyarbakir, which we talked about in previous issue. After a long trip, our delegation arrived in Van and from there to Lake Van. A meeting with Armenians was also held here, after which the delegates went to Ahtamar Island. St. Hajj Armenian Church built on an island complements the unsurpassed beauty of one of the wonders of nature, Lake Van. Then the delegation with its mission went to Mush. The Armenian city of Mush has now completely changed its former appearance and structure. In the next issue, we will present the details of Western Armenian delegation's mission to the St. Karapet Monastery in Mush. The bridge of Jerveshtik is located in 5 km southeast of the village of Madagis or the Martagert region of the Republic of Artsakh on the Jerveshtik or Yerishe Arakel River. Information about the time of construction has not been preserved, but the design features allow us to date the structure to the 12th and 13th centuries. The time of destruction is also unknown, but it should have happened much earlier than 1884. The cornerstones of the arc of the bridge were polished, and the rest of the sections, and especially the high foundation, were lined with rows stone. In the Hrant Dink School, which opens its doors to seven students, the number of students is growing from year to year. Having searched the maximum number of students, it becomes necessary to expand the school with another new class. The Board of Directorate of Hrant Dink Bilingual School presented the following invitation. This school receives support exclusively from the communities of Anuel, Villers, Lepeles, and Gones. Nevertheless, efforts are being made to properly maintain the school. The opening of the school was official because it is proud to have a school with an Armenian education. Human rights defender of Republic of Armenia, Kristina Grigorian, has published a message on her Facebook page on the occasion of the International Day of Assistance to Victims of Torture celebrated on June 26. On July 26, humanity celebrates the International Day of Support for Victims of Torture, providing the necessary assistance to the victims of this inhumane crime. Survivors as well as their family members should be a direct obligation of those states that have assumed international obligations, the message reads, and specifically on the example of 44 day art war, many examples have been documented when many of our compatriots were subjected to torture and inhuman treatment by the Azerbaijan armed forces. Representatives of the Azerbaijan authorities subjected to torture and inhuman treatment as well as subjected Armenian captives of war and civilians held in Baku in violation of international obligations. The RA Ombudsman stressed, the TV channel of Western Armenia also repeatedly addressed war crimes, documenting videos and photographs distributed during the 44-day war. The national community should show its tough reaction to this, thereby preventing other similar cases. With the support of European Union and the United Nations Development Program in Georgia within a framework on end part program, Dakhal Kalak Local Development, in cooperation with the Institute of Public Relations of Georgia, announced a competition for the purchase of solar photovoltaic system in rural communities of the municipality of Akhal Kalak within the framework of the program short term maintaining courses on the environmental protection, waste management, and alternative use of renewable energy sources in rural areas are also conducted in the villages of of Akhalkalak municipality. Western Armenia welcomes this news as preservation of the Armenian identity. It's very important for us in the region as well. The indigenous Armenians of Akhalkalak should develop more economically, preserving their identity and culture. In the Unchla quarter of the Kar city of Western Armenia, Armenian historical graves continue to be destroyed. Residents of the city damage that are be taken under protection as soon as possible. This is reported by the publication Kum Huriyet. According to the source, there are many tombstones with images of the cross among the residents at the place. 
known as the Armenian Cemetery. There is also an Armenian church here, which is also on the threat of collapse. Both the church and the graves were targeted by treasure hunters. The indifferent attitude of the current residents of Western Armenia living in this territory prove once again that they are not the real owners of this country, otherwise they would not have destroyed what was inherited. Churches and monasteries will be reconstructed in these territories again. Culture values will be preserved when they are returned to their true owners, the Armenians, who have been indigenous inhabitants for thousands of years. Archaeological excavations has begun in the ruins of the settlements of Kultepe, Kanish and Kar in the province of Caesarea in western Armenia, thanks to which it became possible to discover documents from 6,000 years ago covering the history of Caesarea. The head of the excavation, Professor Dr. Firfri Kulagolu, in particular noted, as you know, last year the bones of lion as well as other animals were discovered for the first time in Kultepe. We are trying to find out how they ended up here. The large jars found in the excavation area will be examined and it will be possible to find out what purpose they served. In addition, research is being conducted to understand the structure and texture of the economy, vegetation and wildlife belonging to this region. Western Armenia expresses the hope that the research conducted in the region is not intended to change the findings of Armenian origin, attributing them to other peoples or Turkey itself. In a city of Kapansunik region, the 1111th anniversary of the medieval monastery complex Vahana Vang was celebrated on a large scale, where the primate of Tunic diocese Makara Kopian served the festive holy liturgy. On a festive day, Vahana Vang was crowded. People come to Kapan from different places to get acquainted with the thousand year of history of monastery complex to be participant in the important spiritual event. The Vahana Vang monastery complex is one of the bright proofs that this region is the heart of ancient Armenian civilization where Armenians have historically lived since the time when the Azerbaijans did not exist as a nation. Western Armenia constantly raises the falsification committed by Azerbaijan and sheds light on the real facts. As for the program, the enemy state that non-Armenians of Sunik, we can historically state the Kapan as a fortress city, is located in the Zorg of Sunik province of Greater Armenia on the left bank of Vokchi river on a hill, and there are in other cities under the toponym Kapan in Cilicia and in various regions of Western Armenia. Media expert Nairi Hohikian writes on his Facebook page, Are the figures and officials who are very cool to talk about the transfer of the city of Berzor to Azerbaijan before the new road familiar with the reality of these paintings? This is a new road starting at a village of Hornidzor of Sunik and reaching Henisan, Metshen and Lisagor. They are already asphalting at speed and the Armenian authorities like an ostrich have stuck their heads in the sand as if they don't see anything, therefore there is no danger. Aliyev promised and the area authorities are aware that as soon as he completed the pass without waiting for a second, he would enter Berzor and put his flag. What will the Armenian authorities say then? How will they justify their inaction? How will they explain for months they have been ridiculing for this based the problem? And most importantly, how will they ensure the accommodation of the residents of Berzor, Sus and Agavno? Questions that no one wants to answer. Appeal to the authorities of the Caucasian Republic of Armenia. Don't give Berzor to Azerbaijan. Return Berzor to West in Armenia. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.